Wizards Junie and Tony went on an adventure across the universe to find the legendary wizard and make their dream of becoming great wizards come true. Wow, Junie, look at that star! Wow, that's so beautiful! <laughs> Let's go there! Who knows, there might be a legendary wizard! Let's go! Huh? Ship shaking like this! Uh, 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 ah! The spaceship crashed into a strange star that Junie Tony found. Where are we? As they looked around, a girl with a surprised face appeared in front of Junie Tony and asked, My goodness, who are you? Hello, we are Junie Tony and we are little twin wizards. Sorry, our spaceship suddenly broke down and we ended up here. I see. This is Ballet Star, and I am Princess Joy of the Ballet Kingdom. Princess Joy took Junie Tony to Queen Aurora of the Ballet Kingdom and introduced them to her. You must have been scared. Don't worry, and please make yourself at home. Thank, Thank you! you. I've never seen such a beautiful tree like this before! That's right! Is it a tree with hanging jewels? <laughs> this is the tree of life. It was a wilderness a long time ago. Not any living things could live or grow. Just then there were eight Shining bright They changed everything With their special power that if you put all eight of the ballet stones together, you'll have very powerful power. Wow! That's so cool! Meanwhile, there were villains who were hiding in the bushes, eavesdropping on their story. They were Lulu and Lala, the witch Halara's minions. Lulu, let's steal the ballet stones when it gets dark. Yes! Mistress Halara will be very pleased. <laughs> <laughs> Junie Tony were having a great time watching a beautiful ballet performance and enjoying delicious food in the ballet kingdom. Huh? Wait! My aqua wand is gone! Huh? Didn't you leave it in the garden earlier? Let's go look for it together. Junie Tony and Princess Joy ran to the garden to find the Aklo wand. Huh? I thought I left it here. Oh, I found it! What a relief, Junie! Thank you for helping me! Wait! Did you hear that? What sound? Huh? We'll get caught! Princess Joy looked up at the Tree of Life and she was frightened. Thieves! Thieves! They're stealing the ballet stones! <laughs> <laughs> Lulu and Lala fell off the tree and ran away with the ballet stones. Joy! Tell the Queen! We'll chase the thieves! Okay! Be careful! Lulu and Lala had to stop when they reached the dead end. Who on earth are you to steal the ballet stones? If 
you're that curious, I will let you know. I'm Lola! I'm Lulu! We are the meanest villain duo! We love bothering everyone you know! Lulu! Lola! Let's go! Lulu la la Lulu la la! That's enough! Give us the ballet stones now! <laughs> I don't wanna! Try to catch me if you can! Lulu and Lala soared into the sky. Stop right there! <laughs> Junie Tony grabbed onto Lulu Lala's legs and soared into the sky with them. Let me go! Let me go! Go away from me! I won't! I won't! Give Valley Stones back right now! Lulu and Lala struggled to shake off Junie Tony. In all that struggling, the ballet stones from their bag scattered everywhere. No! As Junie Tony reached out for the falling ballet stones, intense light burst from the acla wand and the acla band. With the intense light burst, the ballet stones were scattered far away by an unknown force. Moments later, Queen Aurora and Princess Joy rushed to fall in Junie Tony. Are you all right, Junie Tony? Ouch! Yes. What happened to the ballet stones? They've scattered somewhere. Um. <laughs> this. <laughs> it's a ballet stone. <laughs> One of them fell into my shirt while we were falling. <laughs> This is the Blasting Bravery Stone. It gives huh? tremendous courage in hopeless <laughs> moments. Thanks to your courage in chasing the thieves, we were able to have it back. I'm really grateful. But what about the other seven ballet stones? What happens now? Is Ballet Star in danger? Those thieves must be Halara's minions. If the Witch of Darkness, Halara, finds the ballet stones first, I can't predict what might happen. We'll find the ballet stones together! Yes! We can't just let Ballet Star be in danger! I see a light that surrounds us The brave melody from the bottom of my heart don't you worry, there's nothing to fear After all, the light will brighten the dark You haven't even got a single ballet stone? <sighs> well, we, we had it at first. But, but, but those little kids... You must find the ballet stones before those kids do. Otherwise, I'll turn you into mice and throw you into the stinky sewers! Yes! Yes, yes you're right, Laura! Laura. Tony's great adventure on Ballet Star! The mysterious piano of Doremi Village! Junie, Tony, and Princess Joy began their adventure to find the ballet stones. Where should we go next? Let's use the ballet stone card book. Aha! Uh -huh. The one that Queen Aurora gave us! <laughs> yes, when we're curious, she said to gently touch it like this. By Princess Joy's touch, the mirror shined brightly, and Queen Aurora appeared. Junie, Tony, and Joy, could you visit Doremi Village? Every night, piano music is heard in the empty town square. It might be related to the ballet stones. <laughs> could it be a ghost? <laughs> Who knows? It would be great if you could find it out. You'll meet a new friend in Doremi Village. Then, I'll see you later. Mysterious rumor in Doremi Village. Sound of a piano that's heard every night. Is someone up there playing tricks? Or maybe is it a ballet stone? What if 
it's a spooky ghost. The magical door opened by Junie led to Doremi Village. Princess Joy! A boy with a splendid bow ran towards them with a happy face. Oh? Leo! I heard about you from my mother. Junie Tony, Leo is a great warrior of the Ballet Kingdom. He's also an excellent archer. Nice to meet you. I'm Junie. I'm Tony, a warrior. You must be very strong. <laughs> Something like this? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, there's a worm on your shoulder. Ah, a worm? I hate worms. Go away. Ah! <laughs> Even strong warriors are scared of worms. <sighs> Seems like it. <laughs> then, piano music was played from afar, and everyone followed the sound to the town square. Look over there! The piano is playing by itself! Hey! It must be a ghost! <laughs> Villains Lulu and Lala also heard rumors about the mysterious piano. They arrived at Doremi Village. We are the meanest villain duo! We love bothering everyone you know! Lulu! Lala! Let's go! Lulu la la Lulu la la! There must be something in this village, Lulu! Mistress Hilara said so! Something special is going to happen where there are ballet stones! <laughs> You're right! Let's go and find out now! Ballet stones are ours! Meanwhile, piano music kept playing in the town square. When everyone was frightened, Princess Joy came close to the piano. Uh, there might be a ghost! Watch out! Huh? Guys, there's a ballet stone in the piano! The music stone fell into the old piano that loved music. And with the stone's power, the piano was able to play itself. I'll take it! As Princess Joy approached, the piano suddenly slammed the lid shut. I guess the piano doesn't want to return the music stone. What should we do? Allow me, Princess! Yeah. <clears throat> One more time. Yeah. <sighs> Leo tried to open the piano lid as hard as he could, but it didn't budge. <laughs> it's time to use a tool. I'm tickling you. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> How about now? <laughs> Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> I give up. Dear piano, could you return the music stone to us, please? Even Junie couldn't make it work. Eventually, Princess Joy stepped in. I'm a swan, I'm a butterfly. Play beautiful music for the show I dance gracefully from head to toe Princess Joy, the ballerina princess When Princess Joy sang and danced ballet beautifully Something amazing happened The stubborn piano lifted the lid And started playing beautiful music When their performance ended, the piano seemed satisfied. The piano opened its lid wide to Princess Joy. 
Dear Piano, your performance was amazing! Thank you! When Princess Joy took out the music stone, the piano closed its lid and stopped moving, as if it had fallen into a deep sleep. La 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 la! La 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 Just then, the villains Lulu and Lala also arrived at the town square. It's Lulu and Lala! I'm sure they're here for ballet stones again. Hmm. Ah, I have a great idea. So what we're gonna do is... Lulu, there's a piano over there. Let's go. <laughs> we got here faster than those little ones. Oh! <laughs> Ghost! Run! <laughs> I'm not falling for it this time. <laughs> What kind of ballet stone will they find next? Ghosts! I didn't see that coming! <sighs> Don't worry! I'll go back and defeat the ghosts! <laughs> ah, it's a ghost! Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> on Ballet Store! There's a monster in Mouseville! This is Arabesque. When Princess Joy performed an elegant ballet position, everyone was impressed. Wow! I want to try too! I'll lift my leg like this! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Are you okay, Tony? Tony's face turned red. Just then, Queen Aurora appeared from the Ballet Star card book. Hello, children. Strange things are happening in Mouseville. It might be related to the Ballet Stones, so please check it out quickly. Let's go, guys! To be, to be, to be, to! To Mouseville! As Junie, Tony, Princess Joy, and Leo arrived in Mouseville, Mice poured out from colorful mushroom houses. Squeak, 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 squeak. You guys must be the heroes sent by Queen Aurora. We've been waiting for you. Heroes? <laughs> What's the matter? We're here for you. Well, the thing is, there's a monster living in Mouseville. I once heard it in the forest. A strange noise. Thump, thump, thump. I saw it in the forest, too. Broken trees and huge footprints. A terrifying monster has appeared. Everyone hide! We're so, so scared. A terrifying monster has appeared. Please, please help us save us. Please! Just then, a loud, thumping noise echoed throughout Mouseville. It's a monster! Run! The mice were so startled, they quickly hid inside the mushroom houses. <laughs> Is it a real monster? The noise came from that forest. Let's go! Uh, okay! okay. Wait, wait up, guys! Junie Tony, Princess Joy, and Leo rushed towards the forest where the noise came from. Meanwhile, the villains Lulu and Lala were watching them from afar. There they are, those little ones. <laughs> so they were in Mouseville. Lulu, are you ready? Phew, of course. It's finally time to use this fantastic invention. <laughs> You'll see. We'll get the ballet stone this time for sure. Let's go! <laughs> Meanwhile, Junie, Tony, Princess Joy, and Leo, who went deep into the forest, were surprised to see trees fallen everywhere. As they went in deeper, a huge rock blocked their path. How are we going to get past this rock? 
I'll give it a try. Maybe I can break the rock with my arrows. Be careful, Leo. Don't worry. Here I go. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Wait a minute. What's that sound? Huh? The rock is moving. Squeak, squeak. Please don't hurt me. Ah, it's the monster. What was blocking their path wasn't a rock, but a giant mouse. <laughs> I'm not a monster! I'm a cute little mouse boy! Chewy! I spread my cuteness and joy! Chewy! But it was not long before I changed! Squeak, squeak! I became like a monster one day! Bigger and bigger! Stronger and stronger! The forest is because of me! I must be under the monster's spell! Princess Joy approached Chewie, who was crying. She spoke to him kindly. Chewie, everyone thinks that a monster lives in the deep forest. Let's go back to the village together and ask for help. Ooh, can we do that? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm making things worse. <laughs> Chewie! Chewie got so sad, he started to run into the deeper forest, crying hard. Just then, the mice screamed from the village. Ah, help! What's going on over there? Let's go! Junie Tony, Princess Joy, and Leo were surprised when they came out of the forest. The villains Lulu and Lala were controlling a giant robot cat, threatening the mice of Mouseville. Hand over the ballet stone! If you don't, we'll make a mess of Mouseville! What is a ballet stone? Who are you? And why are you doing this? Let me tell you who we are. We are the meanest villain duo! We love bothering everyone you know! Lulu! Stop! Stop right now! Ugh! The annoying little ones again! Don't bother the mice! Don't want to, don't want to! Go, Super King Cat, go! Ah! Leo shot arrows at the robot cat, but they all bounced off! Junie Tony and Princess Joy also tried clinging to the robot cat, but they fell to the ground! Just then, Chewie, who had heard everybody screaming, came back from the forest. <laughs> Stop it! I have what you're looking for! Don't bother my friends! Uh, it's the ballet stone! That's what made Chewie bigger and stronger! Is it? Snatch it right now, Super King Cat! At Lala's command, the Super King Cat immediately jumped at Chewie. You mustn't let them take the ballet Super King Cat and Chewie pushed each other harder. This isn't working. It's time for our secret weapon. Meow, meow, power up. After eating the treats Lulu threw, Super King Cat grew stronger and began pushing Chewie back. <laughs> I should protect my friends. What should we do? How can we help Chewie? Oh, I just thought of a way to completely distract that robot cat. When Tony used the Aquaband to shoot lights around the robot cat, the robot cat got distracted. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> I knew it would work. What are you doing, Super King Cat? Snatch the ballet stone right now. Chewie, now. Yeah. While Super King Cat was distracted by the lights, Chewie lifted the robot cat, spun it around, and threw it hard toward Lulu and Lala. Yes, 
strong stone with the power of mighty strength. Come back to where you belong. Wow! I'm finally back to my original size. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Rapunzel Once upon a time, there lived a husband and a wife. The couple had a long-awaited baby. The pregnant wife looked at the garden next door every day. The wife couldn't take her eyes off the fresh lettuce. Fresh and green lettuce looks so delicious. If I could munch a crunch, have just one bite. But I can't, it's a witch's garden, she gives me a big fright. I just have to endure it even if I want to eat. The wife became sick because she wanted to eat lettuce so much. The husband sneaked into the garden and took some lettuce. But he was caught by the witch. I'm so sorry, please forgive me. My pregnant wife wanted to eat your lettuce. Have mercy on me. <laughs> you poor thing! May your baby be born healthy and fine, and then the baby will be mine! The husband nodded without realizing what he was doing. Soon after, the couple gave birth to a pretty daughter. However, as soon as they were about to become one happy family, the witch came. You stole my precious green lettuce. Now I will take your precious baby in return. <laughs> the witch named the child Rapunzel, which means lettuce. The witch locked Rapunzel away in a tower in the forest when she turned 12. There were no doors or stairs in the tower. Whenever the witch wanted to climb the tower, she shouted like this. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down, let down your hair. Rapunzel's hair comes down, softly comes down to the ground. Hold on to Rapunzel's hair, climb up. Climb up this ruby stair, climb up. Rapunzel was alone in the high tower most of the time. She was lonely. Whenever she was lonely, she sang a song. Outside this tower, I wonder what's out there. And my song can be heard by others elsewhere. A prince from a neighboring country heard Rapunzel's song while passing through the forest. What a beautiful voice! I wonder who she is. The prince tried to enter the tower, but he couldn't find the door. But the prince came to the forest and listened to the song. One day, the prince saw the witch climb the tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down, let down your head. The prince waited for the witch to come down again. When the witch left, the prince shouted the same. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down, let down your hair. Rapunzel's hair comes down, softly comes down to the ground. Climb up to the tower that's higher than the trees. Who would Rapunzel be? Rapunzel was surprised to see the prince. The prince spoke gently. Don't be afraid. I'm the prince of the neighboring country. Please hold my hand now. Won't you come with me? Yes, I want to leave this prison. Would you bring me some silk threads, please? If I make a rope, I'll go down with ease. I want to live with you. And I want to live with you. When 
Whenever the prince brought some silk threads, Rapunzel and the prince had a good time. Then one day, the witch came back to Rapunzel. Rapunzel pulled up the witch by letting her hair down. It's odd. You're smaller than the prince, but it's much heavier to pull you up. What? A prince? How dare you meet a prince behind my back? Chop, chop, I'll cut your hair. I'm going to cut all of your hair so that you'll never meet the prince again. I'm going to put you away, far away. The prince had no idea that Rapunzel was thrown out of the tower. When the witch let down Rapunzel's hair, the prince climbed up without knowing anything. The moment the prince reached the top of the tower, the witch dropped the hair that she was holding. Ha! You will never see Rapunzel ever again! The prince fell straight down to the ground. He managed to save his life, but he lost his sight because his eyes were poked by a thorny vine. Oh, Rapunzel, where are you? The prince wandered around the world to find Rapunzel, but he couldn't find Rapunzel anywhere. Then, one day, he heard a beautiful song. Oh, my dear prince, where are you? I miss you. I sing every day. I hope you hear my was Rapunzel's voice that the prince desperately looked for. The prince fumbled and followed the song. Rapunzel, are you my Rapunzel? Rapunzel couldn't stop crying. She shed tears of joy. Oh, Rapunzel's precious tears are falling on my face. My world was once dark, but now it's a bright place. Oh, now I can see Rapunzel's beautiful face. The prince took Rapunzel to his kingdom. Oh, Rapunzel, my dear. Will you marry me? I've been waiting for this moment for years. Yes, I will. We are, we are together forevermore. Rapunzel and the prince gave birth to twins and lived happily ever after. The Princess and the Frog Once upon a time, there lived a pretty princess in a kingdom. The princess played with a golden ball when she was bored. It was the princess's favorite game. My golden ball, oh my dear ball, may you go up high as the sun and come back into my arms. Boing, boing, tap, tumble, tumble, and pop. But the princess missed the golden ball. My golden ball! It fell into the pond. What should I do? At that moment, a frog stuck its head out of the pond. Why are you so sad, princess? My golden ball fell into the water. Oh, princess, what will you do for me if I find the golden ball? Uh, anything. The clothes, the crown, anything, anything you want. No, no, that's not what I want. I want us to be best friends until the very end. Huh? Uh, sure. I want to eat together with you every meal and snacks too. I want to go to bed by your side. 
all through the night. Okay, okay, I said okay. Now go and find my golden ball. The frog jumped into the pond. While waiting for the frog, the princess thought, What a silly frog! How can a frog and a princess be friends? After a while, the frog appeared with the golden ball. I found it! My golden ball! The princess ran to the castle as soon as she took the golden ball. Wait for me, princess! Wait for me! You promised to be my friend! I have short legs! I can't run fast! The frog cried out. But the princess didn't look back. The next day, the princess sat down for a meal. There was a loud noise outside the door. Please open this door for me, princess. By the pond we made a promise. I know you're honest. Please open this door for me, oh princess. The princess heard the frog shouting. She didn't know what to do. What is this noise, princess? When the king asked, the princess confessed what had happened in the pond. A promise made is a promise kept. Don't ignore the one who helped you. It's your turn to accept. Now you may open the door for him. The princess hesitated, but she opened the door. The door creaked open, and the gross and ugly frog jumped. I'm so glad to see you again, my princess. The frog jumped up and down. He kept begging under the table. Bring me up on the table. I'll sit next to my princess. Hand me over the plate, the golden plate. I'll eat together with frog ran around the table and gulped down delicious food. The princess lost her appetite. The frog patted his stomach and said, Thank you for the meal, princess. Now please take me to bed. I want to lie down on a soft blanket and fall asleep. The princess was about to cry. The frog was too gross, but there was nothing she could do. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking! Ew! Ew! He's so gross! Are we friends now? It's hard to admit! I made a promise I should. The frog jumped up and down again, and he kept begging under the bed. Put me up on the bed! Let me sit next to you! The princess ignored the frog. The frog started to whine. Put me up, or I'll tell the king! The princess tried to keep her temper, but she could The frog was thrown to the floor. He wiggled. His hair started to shine, and his face started to glow. The frog turned into a handsome prince. I was cursed by evil magic. I was turned into to a frog which was gross and tragic Only you could save me You broke the curse and set me free The frog turned out to be a handsome prince You saved my life, oh princess, oh, princess. Let us go to my kingdom And live happily The 
Princess nodded. The prince and the princess left together in a carriage. Snow White Once upon a time, a princess was born in a kingdom. How precious! She's perfect. Her skin is as white as snow. The name Snow White goes well with you. The king and queen were happy to see their newborn baby. But soon after, the queen got sick and passed away. The king married a beautiful woman. The new queen couldn't stand anyone more beautiful than her. She always asked the magic mirror that told only the truth. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> you are the fairest of them all, my queen. You are. Only that answer made the queen's cold face smile. As time passed, Snow White grew into a pretty girl. One day, the queen asked the magic mirror. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? You are beautiful, my queen. However, Snow White is more beautiful than anyone. The queen got angry. She called a huntsman. The queen ordered him to kill Snow White. The huntsman couldn't do it because he felt sorry for Snow White. Oh, poor princess. Don't let the queen find you. Please run away, far away. Snow White ran away into the forest crying. The thorny vine scratched her hand and the tree's root caught her foot. But she did not stop. I'll run away, far away, so that my mother won't be able to find me into the deep, deep place. Snow White wandered through the forest and reached an isolated cabin. When she looked in the cabin, it was empty. Nobody's here. Shall I take a short rest? Huh? It's amazing. They're all so small. It's so funny. They're all seven each. There are seven chairs. There are seven plates. Wow! Even the beds are seven. Snow White was exhausted. She ate the bread on the table and fell asleep on the seventh bed. At night, the seven dwarfs, the owners of the cabin, returned home. The dwarfs were surprised to see the mess. The seventh dwarf shouted out, Someone's sleeping on my bed! Snow White woke up to the noise. She told the dwarfs that she ran away from the queen. Oh, poor princess. You're welcome to live with us. Stay safe. Be careful. Do not open the door for strangers. Never. A few days later, the queen asked the magic mirror who's the fairest. You are beautiful, my queen. However, Snow White is more beautiful. More beautiful. More beautiful than anyone. That huntsman has lied to me. I'll do it by myself. The queen chose some delicious-looking apples and poisoned them. 
she disguised herself as a fruit seller. The queen crossed the mountain and reached the cabin of the seven dwarfs. Here are sweet and fresh apples. Come out and have a bite. These apples are red like your lips. You'll taste pure delight. So please open the door for me. <laughs> Snow White shook her head. The dwarfs told me not to open the door. When Snow White refused, the queen stuck out her hand with an apple. Aw, oh, come on. Please have a bite of this red apple. It's sweeter than honey. <laughs> Fresh apple looks so sweet. Shall I take a bite? Maybe just a bite. When Snow White bit into the apple, the poison spread all over her body and she passed out. <laughs> Now I should be the fairest of them all. The fairest of them all. <laughs> the queen left Snow White behind. In the evening, the seven dwarfs returned home. The dwarfs wailed in grief when they saw Snow White lying on the ground. <laughs> Snow White looked like she was in a deep sleep. Oh, my dear princess, you were deceived by the evil queen. <laughs> I can never bury my dear princess in the dark cold ground. Oh, my dear princess. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put her in a glass coffin so we can One day, a prince saw a glass coffin while passing through the forest. Who is this beautiful lady? She is Snow White. The prince fell in love with Snow White and asked the dwarves to give him the glass coffin. The seven dwarves gave the prince the glass coffin after the prince promised to protect Snow White. But when the servants moved the glass coffin, they tripped over a... Stone. And from Snow White's mouth, a piece of an apple came out. Wow! Our princess is alive! <laughs> the prince was happy to see Snow White awake. Oh, princess, I'm a prince from a neighboring country. Oh, prince, you saved me. Snow White and the Prince lived happily ever after with the Seven Dwarves. Beauty and the Beast Once upon a time, there was a merchant who had three daughters. The first and second daughters were lazy and greedy. People loved the youngest daughter, who was kind and diligent. They called her Beauty. My daughters, I'll go and make a fortune. What gift do you want when I come back? The eldest daughter and the second daughter said, I want jewels, shiny ones. I want clothes, a fancy dress. Beauty, the youngest daughter, smiled and said, All I need is one red rose. But the merchant couldn't make a lot of money. He ended up broke. The merchant lost his way and reached a big castle. There was no one in the castle, but warm food was prepared. The hungry merchant gobbled up the food and fell asleep. 
The next day, as the merchant left the castle, he saw red roses in the garden. One red rose for my beauty. The merchant picked the biggest and the most beautiful rose. Just then, the thunder crashed and a scary beast appeared. How dare you pick my favorite rose? I'll let you rest in my castle. Oh, please forgive me. I wanted to give it to my daughter. Daughter? You have a daughter? I will let you go, but instead send her to me. That's the only way you can live. The beast let the merchant go. The merchant returned home. He explained what had happened to his daughters. The eldest daughter and the second daughter angrily said, No, no, I won't go! I don't want to go to the beast's castle. He will eat me! But Beauty said she'd go. The merchant tried to stop her, but it didn't work. It happened because of me, because I asked you for a red rose. To the castle of the beast, please let me go. Beauty arrived at the castle in fear. When she saw the open room, her eyes opened wide. A dress that fits me perfectly, books and a piano that I love, and the food that tastes so yummy, it's like they're prepared just for me. Beauty changed her dress. She ate delicious food. Dinner time, the beast appeared. Ahem. Please don't be afraid. I'm the master of this castle, the beast. I know that I look scary, but I'd love to dine with you at least. Beauty was scared, but she acted bravely. Glad to meet you, Beast. Thank you for preparing dinner. It's great. To be honest, I was surprised to see you. But it's okay. Let's, Let's eat, eat dinner, dinner together. The Beast was very kind. After dinner, the Beast asked Beauty, Beauty, will you marry me, please? Beauty was surprised, but said calmly, Oh, Beast, I'm afraid I can't. The Beast was sad, but he understood. Beauty was happy living in the castle. The Beast proposed to Beauty every day. Will you marry me, please? Oh, Beast, I'm afraid I can't. Many days have passed since Beauty came to the castle. Beast, let me visit my father. He must be sad because he may think I'm dead. All right, I'll let you go. Promise me that you will come back. If, if you don't come back, I don't think I can live without you. The beast gave Beauty a lot of valuable jewelry and gold coins. I will come back for sure. I promise you. The merchant shed tears when he saw Beauty again. The two sisters got very jealous. How come Beauty is happier than us? Let's stop her from leaving. The Beast will get angry and he'll eat her up. Whenever Beauty was about to go back to the castle, the two sisters pretended to be sad. Beauty could not leave them behind. Beauty did not feel comfortable staying at home. Beauty was missing the beast before she knew it. Then she saw the beast dying in her dream. 
obese, oh no! Something must have happened to the beast! Beauty ran straight to the castle. Giddy up, giddy up, run faster! I should go back to beast right away! As soon as Beauty arrived at the castle, she looked for the beast. The beast was lying on the floor. The beast became sick because he missed Beauty so bad. Oh, beast! I'm sorry I came back too late! Oh, Beauty, now that you're with me, I can happily die. Please don't leave me, oh, beast. I want to be with you. Forever I can't live without you I don't want to live without you I love you, oh beast A bright light surrounded the castle The beast turned into a handsome prince Beauty was surprised It's me, the beast I was cursed by a wicked fairy I became a beast But your love has lifted the wicked curse oh, my dear We're truly meant to be together Whether you are a beast or a prince I will always be there for you I can't wait to marry you I love you Beauty married the prince and lived happily ever after. Hello friends! It's story musical time with Spring. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of The Little Mermaid. Are you ready? Long ago, there lived beautiful mermaid princesses in a palace at the bottom of the sea. The little mermaid, the youngest of them, loved to sing with her sweet voice. I am the little mermaid. <coughs> la 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 la. All right, let's start the song. Welcome everybody. To our music concert See the light shine bright And the fancy shell stage Come and see our show Enjoy it together Sing and dance together With the Little Mermaid Well, for the drum boom boom Seahorse for the trumpet Everybody sing together With the Little Mermaid La 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 Mermaid always wondered what the world is like above the sea. <coughs> princess! Happy 15th birthday! Princess, princess! Can I come with you too? I want to grow up and see the world outside too! <coughs> shh, shh! Oh, okay! Shh. The mermaid princess swam to the surface of the sea with excitement. Wow, it's so beautiful. What a beautiful world above the sea. It is a whole new world for me. Above the sky there is the shining moon. On the ground there are flowers.
that time, there was a party for the prince's birthday on a ship. The Little Mermaid fell in love when she found the prince standing on the deck. Oh, he is so handsome. A big storm came and the ship creaked and wrecked in the waves. <gasps> no, I have to rescue the prince. The Little Mermaid found him drowning in the water and took him to the shore. On hearing someone's footsteps, the Little Mermaid quickly hid herself behind a rock. <laughs> oh my! Wake up, Prince! Wake up! Uh, uh, huh? Thank you, young lady. You saved my life. Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, Prince. What? Thank you, Princess. Let's go to the castle together. <gasps> oh, thank you, Prince. <laughs> <gasps> the Little Mermaid missed him every day after she returned to her home in the sea. She wanted to see him again so much that she went to visit the scary sea witch who lived under a dark cave. Sea witch, I want to be human. I'll do anything. and will be with the prince. <laughs> when she opened her eyes, she saw the prince beside her. Oh, you've awakened. Who are you? She couldn't say a word, but she was very happy to meet the prince again. Please, go to the castle with me. The Little Mermaid spent many happy days in the castle with the prince. One day, the prince introduced the princess of the neighboring country to her. This is the lovely lady who saved me from drowning. We are going to get married. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? I'm the one who saved the prince. It was me, the Little Mermaid. On the wedding day of the prince and the neighboring country's princess, Friends approached the grieving Little Mermaid and said, Little Mermaid! Little Mermaid! Grandpa Squid! Little Crab! I missed you so much! Tonight, get rid of the prince and return to the Mermaid Kingdom. Then you can be a mermaid again! Please, come back, Little Mermaid! My dear prince! <laughs> Oh, my dearest prince, I really cannot hurt you, my love. Even though I can't become a mermaid again anymore. Oh, my dearest prince, I really cannot hurt you, my love. Forever I'll love you and forever I will remember you, my love. Oh, ho, ho, ho. if only the princess hadn't lost her voice, the prince would know it was her who saved him. Oh, oh. Aha! I've got a great idea! <laughs> that night, the little mermaid entered the room where the prince was sleeping. Mm -hmm. It's you. What are you doing at this late hour? Prince, I have something to confess. I was the one who saved you that day, not the princess from the neighboring kingdom. But you're marrying her. 
What? Did you save me? Uh, no, she's lying. It was me who saved you, remember? I was there when you woke up. That's true. Who's telling the truth? Uh -huh. huh. What's this? Oh, both princesses are telling me that they were the ones who saved me. And I don't know who's telling the truth. Ah, no need to worry. I have footage to prove who actually saved you. I carry my handy dandy C camera around and take pictures as a hobby. Everyone around here practically knows me as the C drone. Just wait and I'll print it out right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Princess, I'm so sorry I didn't recognize you. Will you forgive me? You are the one I want to marry. You have the most beautiful heart. What about me? You have lied to everyone, and I can't marry a liar. Please leave us now. No way! Oh, the neighboring princess returned to her own kingdom. The Little Mermaid found her courage, got her voice back, and lived happily ever after with the prince. Story Musical, see you next time. Goodbye! Chippy 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 Two! Like and subscribe!